Hey, how's it going my friend? My name is James Randhouse and in today's video we're going to be talking about on focusing on the positive. Choosing to look at the bright side by habit. Now this is part of this video series on the simple science of invincibility. Previously we had talked about on focusing on the desired result. Now if you haven't seen that yet, I definitely recommend looking at that video before. And if you haven't seen any of the previous videos in the series, I would strongly recommend you start from the very beginning until you get yourself up to speed. But today we're just going to be talking about focusing on the positive. I'm really excited to bring this content to you today, so let's get right to it. Now I want you to answer this one simple question for me and that question is this, how will your life change for the better by developing the habit of focusing on the positive no matter what? Now just think about that for a second. Now we all kind of like the idea of like um, looking at the bright side of things and stuff, especially like when things don't really like go our way necessarily and we kind of know it intuitively like when we look at the bright side as opposed to looking at the negative side that we tend to feel like a lot better of ourselves. But I want you just to real quick get out a sheet of paper and just write down either three to five things of how your life would change for the better just by focusing on the positive. I'll wait. Pause this video right now and write down those three things. Okay, now I'm assuming you wrote down those three things. Now, I want to share a couple of benefits with you real quick about focusing on the positive. So we're just going to go over these things one by one. Now, first thing, when it comes to focusing on the positive, is first of all is that it directs your focus. Now, just like you probably heard the old adage that you can look at the glass either half full or half empty. Well, when you're focusing on the positive, you look at the glass as it being half full. Well, granted, you don't ignore the fact that this part that the glass is missing isn't filled to its max capacity, but you do acknowledge the good that is there, that there is at least some liquid in the glass. And now you, from there, you can work on how you can fill that glass to the top. And you can apply that same concept to your life, to your business, to your relationships. Focus on the things that are working and watch how things will just start to change for you. Next, what you focus on attracts. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably are familiar with the whole law of attraction thing. Like if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand, stuff like that. So that's pretty much what happens when you start focusing on positive. When you focus on positive things, on the positive aspects of life, of circumstances, of situations, what happens is you start to attract more positive circumstances, situations, and so on and so forth. It's like there's some invisible force in the universe that responds to how we choose to look at things. If we choose to look at things in a positive, empowering way, the universe will respond to that by giving us more things to look at in a positive, empowering way. So that's another really important thing when it comes to focusing on the positive. Next is that it expands your awareness and perception. You see, by focusing on a positive aspect of things, you're able to see more possibilities naturally because you're not trying to like limit yourself. It actually forces you to use your creative imagination to look at any situation, no matter how pleasant or unpleasant it may be, and think to yourself, how is it I can extract value from this? How is it I can make this better for myself? Or how can I use this experience to go help and empower other people? So that's another really important thing. And last but not least, we touched on it a little bit, but it definitely improves your relationships. Imagine if the people that you communicate with on a regular basis, you just adopted that positive oriented mindset. Imagine how it would do for how you interact with like your friends or perhaps with your spouse or maybe with your kids and so on and so forth. Like it just radically improves how it is you interact with other people because you're coming from a different place. You're coming from a place of positivity from a place of good energy and stuff people like that and people are attracted to that so when you once you go and you start um showing up as that very positive oriented individual people are naturally going to like you more and the people that already like you're going to like you even a lot more so there really is a lot of benefits and a lot of positive things that comes from just being positive and i'm sorry if that sounds a bit redundant so guys, that's all I got really for you today. It's a really simple concept. I really want you just to nail down into your head. Just start focusing on the positive a lot more. Don't let life get you down. And I also want to just thank you again for watching this video and taking time to listen to me talk about some really cool ideas I found. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, please, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell icon so that way you'll be notified as soon as I drop the next video in this series. The next video is titled on observing, recognizing and acting in the world. And like all the other videos from bef like all the other videos previously, this that next video is just going to build up on any on everything we've been learning about before. So once again, my name is James Van House. Check me out over at jamesvanhouse.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.